Hello and welcome to this tutorial on how to paint a Woodruff Wave Watcher. This is my first ever tutorial, so feel free to comment on how I can improve the quality of the videos. So this is the model we're going to paint today. It's an old Games Workshop Wave Watcher model. It's definitely one of my favorites and uh, also really fun to paint. The colors I'm going to use in the video. I started up spraying the model with Corex White. Afterwards I started with the first base color, Lauren Forest. I used this on the main parts of his cloak, on a few leaves and also on his face mask. You could have started with uh, flesh tones, which probably would make more sense, but this is the way I did it this time. Then I went on using Caliban Green, and I used this on the remaining part of the cloak, and small bits here and there on the Waywatcher. The parts that I really like about Wood Elves and Waywatchers in particular is, is also that you can mix up the colors here and there and use like Caliban Green on some parts on one model, and uh, on some other parts in the next model and so on. Then I use Cadian Flesh Tone. Don't be scared to make small mistakes here and there hitting the greens. Uh, after the shading we're going back to clean up the small messes here and there anyway. So. Here I paint with Mornfang Brown. Pretty much use this color all around the wooden parts of the model. This includes parts of the bow, arrows and small armor parts. Here I paint with Sandry Dust. I'm going to use this color for parts of his bow and also for his hair. I really want my Waywatchers to have uh, light blonde hair. Doombull Brown I pretty much use for leather parts such as his quiver and his holster for his knife. But I also use it for small parts here and there on his armor so you can mix it in with the greens.
tried bark I use on the way watch's weapon but uh, beside that I also pretty much use it as I do with Dumble Brown which means I use it on small patches here and there you can try and mix it up and choose whatever you like Memphis on rent I use on the feathers on the arrows and also on the small pouches you have in there. I really like mixing in some reds with all the green and brown because it gives a really nice contrast. With Balthazar gold I paint the metal parts on his bow and on this uh, dagger and also on the small sigils you have here and there you could also choose to use silver or gold but I just like the bronze look on uh, my wood elves The last color before shading is Warboss Green and I pretty much use this color on the remaining parts of the small leaves that surround but I could also use it on small cloth parts or armor patches if uh, it makes sense. This is what the model looks like right now, without the shading. For shading I use Acrex Earthshade. You could choose to use Null Noil for the metal parts, but to keep it as simple as possible, I just used extra associate on this uh, way watcher. Now I go back to Lauren Forest uh, just to clean up where I maybe feel that the Agris Urses have been a tan so much or maybe even made the Lauren Forest a bit too dark. And I do the same thing with the Cadian Flesh Tone and you can also use it on Caliban Green etc. But for this model I only cleaned up Lauren Forest and Cadian Flesh Tone. My first highlight is Kislev Flesh, which I used to highlight the skin. With Lysin Green I try to edge highlight his cloth, which are colored with Lorn Forest. I also edge highlight parts of the leaf that I painted with Lauren Forest and afterwards I 
try to dry brush the, the huge parts of his cloak in order to try and get a better transitions between the colors. And I use Warpstone Glow upon the Caliban Green. And afterwards I use Smooth Green on the outer edge. You could definitely get a way more smoother transition between the colors here, but I kind of like the, the way it looks. With Sukurak Sprongs, I pretty much just highlight the middle parts on the model. In order to get the hair really bright, I dry brush on Shapti Bone and afterwards I use uh, the same technique but with Screaming skull and then at the end I just on the small tips of the hair I just edge highlight with screaming skull And I go with Tusker fur in order to highlight the around the edges on my leather parts And then Evil Sun Scarlet on the small bits of red I have on the miniature. In order to highlight the dried bark I used earlier, I use Gother Brown around the edges. And then I use Scarsnick Green, the few places uh, like the leaves for example where I used Warbots Green earlier. You can pretty much use any lighter green and you can mix it up like using different greens for each model. And in the end I'm going to use Scrack Brown for the wood parts around and the armor parts around in the, the Waywatch. So this is my finished model. I'm quite pleased how it turned out. There's a lot of options to improve him even more, but uh, for me, I'm quite satisfied with how he uh, he turned out. Thanks for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed. Feel free to comment below if you have any ideas on how I could improve these videos to make them better. Uh,